The following was a testimony given at her 2021 men's retreat. Mark Summers pastors in Corpus Christi, Texas, and he had recently made it through a rough time with COVID-19. Father, we just thank you for the, the privilege to be able to meet like this, Lord. As we were reminded last night, thank you for the privilege that it is to come before your throne and to know with certainty that you hear us. That it's not all just fantasy. But we can know you, the one true and living God, and Jesus Christ, your Son. Father, I just pray Christ be magnified and that if there are those here that know about him but do not know him, Lord, that you might reveal yourself to them, that we would know you. In Christ's name, amen. Um, I guess in one sense, I'm really not prepared for anything this morning because I had totally forgot that I talked to Scott and, and, he's, <laughs> and he asked me if I would share something, really did talking to Craig last night, and he mentioned something. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> That's one of the things with COVID brain, I guess. I have a terrible memory anyway, and you put that on top of it. And, um, but in the other sense, I'm prepared because I lived it. <laughs> and, and that's, I mean, honestly, isn't that what we're supposed to be, ready uh, at any time? to magnify the Lord and to praise Him. and um, Just going through the experience, I, re I don't really want to talk about the sickness, honestly. I'm so sick of talking about COVID. Uh, there's times I declare COVID-free days in our house. It's like there's no talking about vaccines, about COVID. We just, let's take a break from it. Um, it may be unavoidable, but we can avoid it for a little while. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you all so much, those that prayed. Uh, the Lord hears. Um, honestly, I think I was, I think, I think I didn't feel as bad as I was, honestly. Uh, I felt horrible, but, uh, but yeah, there, there, there came a time I went through the first few days and I felt sick, nauseous, you know, kind of the normal things. And then it kind of got into the realizing my oxygen was low and just, <clears throat> just really weak, and uh, that became a very dark time. Um, just a very, a very real spiritual battle. Um, was it related to the physical weakness? Probably. Probably so. I mean, we are, we are one man, body, and spirit. Uh, there's no, you may be able to distinguish the two, but that's who we are. We are body and spirit, body and soul. Um, and and they affect each other, but, but we are spirit. And there's more to this world than just what you see. We are surrounded right now by angels and maybe demons. I don't know. I can't see it, but I know because he's made his, his angels ministers uh, to those who have been given eternal life. If Christ himself was ministered to by angels, how much more do you think we are completely unawares? Um, I just went through a really dark time, and I'm not going to get into it, but just accusation, regret, just shame. Um... And I was in such a state, honestly, I, I struggled and I just could barely call any scripture to mind at all. It was just kind of walking in a fog, really, mentally. Um, but this is, this is what I want you to hear. Christ himself sustained me personally. 
Jesus said when he was praying to his father, the end is come. Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ, your son. This is eternal life, that you know God, not that you know about him. Knowing about God is not faith. Knowing Him, that's where faith exists. And knowing Him personally, the person of God, the person of Christ. The Pharisees knew more about God than all of us put together probably. They had a lot, a lot of knowledge. But they couldn't even recognize their own Messiah. They didn't know God or they would have known the Son. I, I've, I've learned experientially what James said in the first chapter, consider it all joy, my brothers, when you fall into various trials. What do trials do? They expose whether or not you have faith or not. Trials are a blessing of God. They are a blessing when you run into different circumstances things that try your faith i pray that the lord tries your faith hard severely i mean have you ever been put in that place where you're facing a death of a loved one maybe a loved one dies something happens to one of your children it's a blessing to go through those things because how precious is your faith? How precious is it to know that you know God? Much greater than gold or silver. There's, 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 no, there's no value in those things. I mean, there's, there's somewhat of a joke, but a guy figures out a way to you know take things with him when he dies and he gets to heaven and he's got this you know, big treasure chest. And, you know, Peter says, you know, hey, what's that? And he's like, oh, I found a way to bring it with me. And he opens it up and, it's, you know, it's just full of gold and jewels and all that. And he just starts laughing. He says, what are you laughing at? He's like, why'd you bring asphalt for? We paved the streets with that. <laughs> I, I mean, it, yeah, it's, it's bad doctrine. It's, it's all that. But the point, <laughs> the point of it, how precious is your faith? How precious is it to know God? Do you know God? So that in the middle, if when you're faced with death, you can have peace. You know, that, that dark time, it lasted for a day or two. Honestly, I don't remember how long it was. It was one to two days. But after that, the only way I can say to describe it is I was, I was suffering, I was struggling physically, but I was resting spiritually. And, you know, I honestly was. I was ready as, Lord, whatever you want. Uh, I want to get well, but you know, you'll take care of my wife, my children. And he will. Yeah. He is. I'm not doing it. He is. Oh, just self-reliance. Oh, God strip us of self-reliance. That Again, the message last night. Why don't we pray? Well, I don't need to. I got this. We forget God, usually because things are going so well. That was the warning to Israel. When you go into the land and you're eating that honey, you're living in houses you didn't build, you're drinking that wine, you didn't plant the vineyards, don't forget me. We, land in, we live in a land of prosperity. Think about those in Myanmar. Think about this. Bombs going off. Sleepless nights. Night after night after night. Fighting. Murders. Family members being killed. Just, you know, having to run out and get in a, you know, a muddy hole in the ground that's a bomb shelter. And all that goes on there, and what do they do when Sunday comes around? They gather for worship. What would happen? What would churches look like? What would our worship services look like if we were faced with that next month? They worship. They gather for worship. In the jungles, gathering together for worship, those believers. 
May God help us. This is part of knowing God. It, you know, whether we live or we die, we are the Lord's. And, and life is in His hands. Power of life and death is in the, the tongue, the mouth of the king. Well, who is the king over kings and the Lord over lords? It's our Lord. Um, I would just challenge you, search your heart. Has your faith been tested? We're told in everything, give thanks. We know, we know we're supposed to do that. And, and, and I've learned, I, I, you know, I, I, I do that. But man, going through this, it's like, no, I'm, it's not just a duty. It's not just a duty. I, I should give thanks. Therefore, you know, Lord, thank you for. No, I, I actually am joyful and thankful for our, that I went through that. I'm, I'm actually envious of the time that I was sick like that because of the nearness of my Lord. I would gladly go back there if he called me to go back there because he would be with me. And I'll probably face dark times again. But even though we walk through the valley of great darkness, I will fear no evil. Why? Because you're with me. Because he's with us. So that's, that's it, brothers. Just Do you know God? That's eternal life. Not that you know about him. If your study doesn't, if you're not studying to know him, then it's vain study. It's vain study. If you're gathering a bunch of knowledge, but it doesn't lead to knowing Him, what good is it? It'll puff you up. Maybe you'll win some arguments. But, but this is eternal life, that you know God and know Jesus Christ His Son personally. Well, that's it. I, I pray that would be true of all of us. Thanks.